as part of our commitment to you to bring you the top business leaders talking on the issues of the day, we really needed to talk to the DHL's chief executive. Because let's face it, when most companies are focusing on the crisis, why are they focusing on this? A question for the chief exec, Frank Capel. I think by far the most important factor is that there will be enormous pressure from customers and consumers for demanding green products. So we have an, you know, as you know, we have a global discussion around what we should do with global warming. The encouraging thing out of this study is that customers will demand green products and services. And, you know, I think this is very encouraging because that will drive the change much faster. Uh, instead of waiting for legislation, consumers will decide themselves. Right. They will put pressure on, on companies and that will make the change. And that, I think, is by far the most important uh, message out of the study. But, the, but of course, there's a, a good dose of hypocrisy, isn't there, from consumers. They say they want green products in the same way they say they like organic products until they have to pay more for them. Yeah, I think that's, that's definitely the, the proof will come. Uh, I think the point will be what it says, the flip side of that is they will not pay uh, for the service. They will demand the service, the green service, without paying more. So what we have to do as a company and others have to do, we have to provide the same quality or even better, in, in including the green approach, with the same price. If we don't do that, we will lose out. And that's probably what you see in other markets as well. If the, if the price tech is equal or close to equal, you know, then customers change. If it's very different, you know, then many people can't afford that. So, you know, there is a momentum, but you're right, you know, you can only succeed in that market if you are, can provide it with the same cost base. These are grand and big thoughts. Why is Deutsche Post and DHL, and why is the chief, are you so concerned about this? Surely you're in the middle of a crisis, sir. You shouldn't be necessarily worrying about such grand thoughts when you're going to have to be worrying about making money next quarter. I'm definitely concerned about that as well, but more importantly, you know, if you want to, you know, we are a global company with 500,000 employees around the world. You know, we have to build a basis for the future. And, you know, the only way how we can do that is that we have a clear customer promise. You know, we want to make the life of our customers, the business of our customers simpler, which is based on uh, unclear values, which are in our case respect and results. So we are not a charity. We want to balance respect and results. And if we do that, in the service industry, you get more motivated employees, more motivated and engaged employees will drive more customer satisfaction and customer satisfaction will lead to more revenues. Right. And revenues finally create shareholder value. So I'm, you know, you have to do both. You can't forget the long-term perspective just because we have a crisis. You have to do both. And that's the challenge, you know, where we are paid for as CEOs, that we balance the long-term perspective and the short-term needs. And <clears throat> that is difficult, that's demanding. But, you know, that is why we are paid for, um, and, you know, in, in, our, in our jobs. Now, let, let's, we, we've talked about the long term, but let's talk about the short term. Uh, the company has uh, announced a pullback from the United States, which you're now implementing, obviously, uh, to, to, to some... Uh, it was quite a dramatic decision and, uh, to pull out of the United States. But are you seeing any evidence in your business that we are either at the bottom of the recession or that the recession has turned? Um, you know, I can't comment that, it, you know, I can't say that it has turned. Definitely, it, it appears that we have reached the bottom, if I see. You know, I have not seen the May revenue numbers yet. You know, it's, it's too early, uh, and that will tell us a little bit more. You know, it, I think, you know, we have reached the bottom. If there is already an upswing, as some people in the U.S. yesterday said, as, as you know, um, you know, I, I think that's a little bit too early. Finally, do you find it difficult to convince your supervisory board, to, provide, to, to convince your senior executives that they must keep their eye on big picture future thoughts as well as worrying about what they're doing on their desk today. No, the, the strategy we have launched, you know, including these, these study, you know, was a uh, collaborative approach from the full corporate board, the management board, and we engaged as well the supervisory board. You know, there's this common belief that we have to give the company a purpose, drive it with a clear guiding principle, and finally have a clear customer promise. And everybody is convinced that this is the best way. If I hear what our employees have told me after roach around the world, you know, they were 
extremely positive because they say that has much more to do what I'm doing every day, you know, right. simplifying the life of our customers, driven by respect and result. That has much more to do with revenue than revenue numbers, EBIT numbers. You know, some of them even don't understand what EBIT means and may don't have to worry about that, but they worry about their customer, they worry about you know, how they are treated by their bosses. And I think that's very important. And therefore, that resonates very much with our people. And that will increase the motivation of our workforce around the world without a doubt.